Uh, my name is Gary Schreiner. Um, I'm, I'm a Saskatchewan farmer. I, I come from a family farm and, and approximately six years ago I started um, GATCO, the Grain Air Tube Company. Um, I started with a center perforated tube up a bin. I seen the need for it for cooling grain and um, since then I've been working on other innovations of aeration to work with the center column. Uh, now I've started cross flow aeration. What cross flow aeration is, is columns that go 65% of the way up your granary wall and it moves air sideways to the center pipe. Um, this technology is working on a theory of short pathways through the grain to a center release point. Uh, such as a 22 foot diameter granary, the most you have to move air through grain is 10 feet. And this is um, increasing your airflow, lowering your static pressure. And these columns are also really easy to retrofit into an existing granary. They just bolt to your wall, 65% of the way up. And this bottom manifold is an elbow, which comes out to the outside of your granary wall. So you can, um, put a single fan onto a column or you can put a 10 inch manifold system and run a uh, 18 inch diameter fan on them. It's however you want to build the system and what's best for yourself. And the other benefits is since you have such low power requirements, I myself have actually ran two 110 volt fans. You can run this system out in a, a field without any power just by using a, a small generator to cool your grain off in, in one or two days. And so then the other benefits are now when you shut your power off, you still have your center tube in the bin. So really you have a powerless aeration system still working. So that's the theory is you got uh, three lines of defense. You got short pathways through grain. You have um, the center column doing its job when the power is shut off and you also have the cone on top coring your bin keeping your grain from being packed so this is all working together for greater efficiency and aeration also one of the other benefits since you're running a column 65 percent of the way up your granary wall air that's shooting to the top half of the column is now actually pushing air into the top half of your granary well, representing the top half of your grain really well in your bin. Um, we've done a limited amount of testing, but there is a scientific proof that you can move air way easier sideways than you can up. And so when you think about moving air upward through 30 feet of grain, this system here, you're moving air sideways through 10 feet of grain. So according to numbers, you can easily double your efficiency or greater. Some testing on my own farm. I um, used uh, two horsepower on 7,000 bushel of grain and I dried and cooled my bin down in two days. Um, traditional aeration would call for a minimum of a seven horsepower fan on a granary that size. And so yeah, we, we've, um, easily double the efficiency of drying and cooling grain. And if you want more information on it, um, it will be up on our website. It's uh, gacomanufacturing.com.